First time watching Better Call Saul season six, the final season, and the penultimate, the second to last episode of the final season of the show. Episode 12 called Waterworks. We're almost there, boys and girls. We're almost there. Wow. It's been quite a journey. Before we talk a little bit about the previous episodes, though, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing better now. Still sick, but you know, much better. Oh, and my name's Afan, if you're wondering. Welcome to my channel, if you're new. So a little bit about the previous episode. The season has calmed down quite a bit. I mean, it's kind of amazing to think about what happened. Like, it was just death after death after death. And just, you know, people messing with each other so much and so much intensity and it's all died down a little it's relaxing it's a bit chill i mean yeah there are tense moments but for the most part it's very chill all we need is netflix now anyways but yeah gene is back to his soul like ways after talking to kim and realize after talking to francesca then kim and then realizing that he has no money and he needs a bit of money although we know he's not really doing this for money because you know that's Something that has never really been an issue for Saul or Kim, but they've still done it. So they like doing that, and that's why they're doing it. So he goes back to Gene, and you can see a little bit of an ego. He's becoming a bit of an egotisticals, you know? <laughs> like with him breaking the glass at the phone booth. The conversation, obviously, with Kim didn't go all too well for that to happen. But that's a clear sort of, a, you know, getting in yourself into a situation that you don't really want to be in as Gene, as someone who's running away. And then he's doing these scams, obviously. And then at the end, when he's breaking into the house, he again breaks the glass. So that's again, like you're, you're supposed to be able to get away with these. It's kind of the point. Well, how are you going to get away with this? Like literally the moment he gets up, he's going to see someone broke in. So there's a little bit of, um, what's the word i really like this word i learned it uh recently hubris there john i mean which is very similar uh to walt to gus to all these people who fell who broke bad you know and uh it is like i said the penultimate episode um so is this it for saul I don't know, I cannot wait to find out though, so let's just jump into it without any further ado. Here we go. We also see uh, Walt and Jesse in the last one, so that's great. In a varsity of American Samoa. Go oh, land crabs. He loves throwing balls at stuff, isn't he? It's been an hour. We've got a lobby full of people out here, and at 8 o'clock, I am done. I don't care if the building burns down. I'm going home. Wow. You and your work ethic. Did I really help? <laughs> is he actually thinking, or is he just way so? Okay, lovely. You know why? I saw that, and I saw the two round, you know, stuff on the sides and a thing coming out in the middle and i was like oh he is becoming a bit of an ego testicles isn't he yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh lovely so full of himself kimberly wexler oh my god yeah what are you waiting for Send her in. Oh, it's her. It's her. We're going to get to see Kim. Kimberly and Jimberly. Wow. We're going to get divorced. Whoa. We're giving this new footage. There was a woman. Is that Francesca? Or is that supposed to be Kimberly? That's cams. I think this will work. I mean, technically it isn't actually mayonnaise, but yeah, technically I don't think this is mayonnaise. <laughs> close, right? Medical what? What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, huh? let's give it a shot. <laughs> You're overthinking mayonnaise way too much, fam. I don't know. It's as close as I could get. Sis wow, her name's Sissy? Really beautiful, Sissy. Yeah, Sissy. 
Stuck with a lot. Wow. This kind of reminds me of uh, Walt and Hank and them when they would hang out in their backyard, you know? I mean, it's not quite a swimming pool, but it is. Well, you can swim in it if you want. Yeah, that was fun. Not to be mean, but she looks terrible in that hair. You know the hair she had before? Amazing. This one? Eh, not so much. Oh, it is okay. Yep. Yep. That's it right there. Good job, guys. I th okay. Great. Yep. That yeah, scene reminded me of the Forrest Gump, <laughs> you know, scene. You think? like, your mom sure wants you in school or something. I don't know what he says. But. Well, you got to be in shape to be on this show. You sure do. But Kimberly's like in such a good shape. Oh, hey, they opened a. New Outback down in Satellite Beach. You want to go Friday? Sure. It's a date. Oh my goodness, I hate those. I got one. Still have it, but it's no. No thanks. We're still getting to see Kim spit and brush. That's good. That hasn't changed at least. Although she is using an auto, th well, can't recall. Was she using an auto one before? Right, Pomco sprinkler. I thought Gene was gonna order one a sprinkler to like get away or kill someone or something. <laughs> An actual place. Kim Wexler. Kames Wexler. It's weird. James is Jim Kimberly's Kim. Jimberly and Kames. Does that come in a three-inch riser or just the two-inch? I'll come in however many inches you want. <laughs> Happy B day! <laughs> That's cute. Carol. Jeez. Yeah, no. so maybe, what do you think? Vanilla or strawberry? Ooh. Um. They're both good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> They're both. It's got to fit in the truck, right? So how's it going to fit in the truck if. <laughs> what are those lizards doing what I think they're doing? I made it with Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise. Hmm. I use almond butter instead of peanut. Almond better instead of pea. Very exciting indeed. Pomco sprinkler. Those are pretty expensive. Yep. Kim, there's a Victor St. Clair for you on line yep. three. Kim? Victor. Yep, okay. St. Clair. Yeah, so what do you think about that? Oh! What brand? No, no, it is him. Because I was like, Victor, with a K. They spelled it with a K, too. That's he Jim. But also St. Clair. I'm like, where do I know that name from? Giselle. Okay, cool. It is him and her turning. Okay, I see. It's definitely Jim. Yeah. Is she waiting for the blinds to stop moving? She's just nervous. So this is the fight? Or the argument or whatever happened. Uh, it caused him to kick the glass. Hey, Kim. You know who this is? I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that receptionist of yours, is she the type to listen in? Yes. No. Good. And? What do you want? I don't, I don't want anything. <laughs> I just, it's been a while. Might be nice to catch up. Or Miracle Whip. Ketchup or Miracle Whip? It's been six years. Wow. I, I couldn't believe it. I thought that file said Mayo. It says Mako. I thought you might want to know I'm still alive. Yep. Yep. <laughs> still getting away with it. Feds couldn't find their own ass with both hands and a proctologist. You shouldn't be calling me. You can call me an asshole. Yell at me. Just let me know you still got a pulse. Something. You want me to say something? Yeah. Sure said yep. In. That's what? that's what Papa said to Nacho. You heard me. I don't know what kind of life you've been living, but it can't be much. Set a pot to the kettle. What? That is that is really rich. You you preaching to me? You have no idea what I did or didn't do. Okay. And, and why don't you tell okay. yourself? 
Seeing as how you're the one with the guilty conscience, huh? Brings in the ground. Mike's in what did she do? I mean, you, she, you know. You don't have to hold back on my account. They can only hang me once. So she helped him, yeah. I, I, I get that with Howard, but... He saw, like... It's not even a comparison, you know what I mean? Between Saul and Kim. Reason, just, I just... I only wanted to... Kim. Kim. Wow. Kim. I'm glad you're alive. Oh. <laughs> I love her, man. She's such a great actor. She didn't get him uh, get her anything. You know, I was thinking, is he going to kill himself? Because, you know, because uh, I'm connecting it to Nacho now because, you know, Nacho has a talk with his dad and dad told him the same thing. And I'm like, are those the twins? They look bald. But, you know. Albuquerque. Oh! Albuquerque! What? He's not in Albuquerque. What? They automated the system. Does that mean no more sticker troll? I know he left that job long ago, but how dare they? It's the corp... Yard. Oh. Hey, Bill Oakley's gay now. <laughs> now, just remember to sit up straight and listen carefully when the judge addresses you. That's Kim. Even if you're not so sure what's going on, don't... Like, it's not Kim, but you know what I mean. Kim used to do that. Yep. Wow, it's literally Kim wearing the same kind of clothes, although they're lawyers, so they have to, but the ponytail as well. Okay, it is her. I thought it was Cheryl. It is Cheryl. Kim? Hi, Cheryl. Wait, she lives in the courtyard? How different things could have been. If only she had stuck to Mesa Verde. Wow, she's coming clean for personal gain. He faked his cocaine addiction. And it's in writing. That's evidence. Almost immediately died instantly. <sighs> wow, everything. Everything. Howard was murdered. Why? He was. Wrong place, wrong time. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Called it. Where's his body? Swimming with the fishies. And the police. Will they search again? They'll search. No. I don't think they'll find him. I'm an idiot. He's with Howard. No, he's with Lalo. Under the lab. That was the fake story. I believe the fake story. He didn't suffer. He died. Like, he died. The lies you two made up. The picture you painted. Right, and people think he's a coke addict. No. Yep. That's all anybody remembers. And he's lying next to Lalo, by the way, his murderer. Will you go to jail? It's up to the district attorney whether to prosecute, and she may not. Why? There's no physical evidence. No remaining witnesses other than my ex-husband, assuming he's still alive. I could sue you in civil court. I could take everything you've got. Yeah. Doing this. Can they sue her? One, the guy's dead. 
So you're suing on behalf of someone who's not alive. But she did nothing to Cheryl. Two, it's been six years. How many years has it been? Six, right? Like, I know they said six, but I don't know how many time has it been since then and now. Is it like the next day or is it a month or a year? Or, you know what I mean? We'll assume six years. Oh, she's... powerful and then just took it at a piano Howard no uh Chuck you have a piano too wow it's knocked out on the ground oh so she actually listened to him, eh? She's confessing. She's coming forward. She's moving on. She's actually being a human with emotions and feelings and, well, a lot of guilt, which she has to un unburden herself of. Not him, though. He's not even over her. Like, see how he got mad and started kicking the wind, uh, the, you know, the glass at the phone booth and stuff? And loser. Seven three seven. That's a lot of money. Didn't, I think that was seven six seven. No, that's a plane. No, that's seven seven seven. <laughs> and the other one was Wayfarers five one five. Okay, I'm wrong on all fronts. <laughs> I think Walt wanted like seven hundred k or something, right? I don't know something. Something with 700. <laughs> wow. All the info right there. Cabs here. Is that behind him? Oh, no. Is that someone coming into the house? What happened? Is it because it's can he has cancer, so he's taking this personally? Is that what it is? What the? Run free, Russ, Rusty. Yeah, he should have left. Also, there's someone outside. I think he went outside to meet that person. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is this it? Is he gonna get caught here? We'll be careful on the stairs. Lovely. He's gonna sit there. Great. Gonna have to jump over. <laughs> Am I on his side again? I hope you get. I hope you first you break your legs jumping off, and then he catches you. <laughs> he's gonna throw that off, break it, and then he's gonna. Yeah. I know that doesn't really help. It's a cop. It's a cop. Oh, he's gonna smash his head. He's out. And then there's a cop waiting outside, so that's gonna be brilliant. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's. I hope he didn't see you, because that's very suspicious. 
You're walking out, you see a cop and you go right back out. Don't do anything. Look at this. Look. Look, what would you call this? I'm call that. I don't know what. Would you call that a fish taco? <laughs> Could anybody call this a fish taco? What? Yeah, they have no idea. Stop, stop. You're catching, you're going to catch their attention. Well, I want you to look inside there and tell me what you see. Huh? Well, would you or would you not sell this to an unsuspecting public? Why are you in rooting for this? is some bullshit. I'm telling you, I got half a mind going back over there and smack somebody. Bro, oh, just walk. What are you doing? What just happened? You should have eaten that fish taco. That's what you get for complaining too much. <laughs> what the hell was that? trying to get their attention off of Jimmy? Kimberly Wexler Lily. Oh, it's Francesca. What do you think? Pretty great, right? Yeah, it's um... Yep. So she hadn't moved at this point and changed her appearance and all that? So... Florida. She's going now, okay. I gotta tell you, I think you're gonna regret not taking your share of the sandpiper. I will. Not taking the money either. File these tomorrow. All right, well, have a nice life, Kim. Wow. Kind of disrespectful. I mean, I guess he's achieving what he wants. He's, he's doing this to annoy her, right? To make her angry or whatever. Yeah, but like couples do this kind of shit. I don't know, man. It's bullshit, but you know. Hey, sweet cheeks, who do we got next? Let's do some <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Francesca. <laughs> oh, I know this guy. I don't do no paperwork. Yeah. He doesn't do paperwork. Who cares? Come on, come on. <laughs> Have I seen him before? I think I have. Oh wow, it's pouring. It's a lot of works. Wait, so what's the title? Oh, Waterworks, because it's spling uh, spling <laughs> sprinkler company she works for. I'm like, why why waterworks? Probably that's why. Hey yo! Hey bump all those! I was just gonna say, is that supposed to be someone we know? It's Yo, it's Jesse. Good to see you again. <laughs> oh, just get married to Kim. Go to Florida, run away. Shit. Run away while you still can. I, mean, I thought we were like in a desert, you know? <laughs> His whole voice has gotten deeper, right? I'm, or, I don't know. Oh, I recognize you. You're defended by Buddy Cabo. Juvie Court, Soul Baby Jesus. Maybe not like a real baby, just a, <laughs> you know, one of those things. Nativity scene. Yeah. Knights of Columbus. I mean, what the hell did he even want that thing for? Huh? I mean, I, I still don't know. Dumbass. <laughs> I told him he could go to hell for stealing something like that, I mean, but did he listen to me? No. Well, you can go to hell for stealing anything, really, but, you know. Who got him off like Scott Free? That, that was pretty slick, yo. Tell him I hope he's keeping his nose clean. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Right on. See the real deal? Like, lawyer-wise? <laughs> Why do you ask? I got a buddy in there who's facing some serious time. I mean, not, you know, not baby Jesus time, but... <laughs> I mean, I tell, yo, Emilio, you know, a funny TV commercial is not a sound basis i mean like would you go to a doctor to do like an operation on you and like a all in effect of a funny tv commercial no <laughs> how is this any different good points all around this guy 
Any good? When I knew him, he was. <laughs> what a line. When I knew him, he was. Oh, man. And I have to take the bus home because his cabs. <laughs> well, his cabs not cabin. Huh? Imaginary boobies. I mean, I had an accident, okay? A little fender bender type deal, no, no big thing. My foot maybe slipped on the accelerator, or maybe it was a defective. I don't know, but that's not the big deal part. They think that I, me, committed a robbery. Why would they think that? I know, Ooh. right? Place where evidence of like breaking and entering and, and, and stuff is missing, which I did not do. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. And Jeff, you're gonna get the best legal defense in the whole wide world. Trust your old man on that. Okay. Copy that. Sit tight. You do that. It's not gonna go himself, is he? Keep your shirt on. Hello. Keep your shirt on? Do you know what time it is? I wasn't planning on taking her off. This isn't the first time, you know. He's been in trouble before. Oh, Jesus. Marion. The death of me. He's gonna be the death of me. Marion living in Albuquerque. Drunk and Albuquerque. I maxed out my Discover card, and I'm still paying for that one. Well, money, right? You just walk into the station, you pay a straight cash bail. It's not like Albuquerque at all. How do you know about Albuquerque bail? Marion, you still there? Yeah, what? She's on to him! Oh, yes! She's on to him! Take it. Honestly, I was going to pay the bail myself, but I think it should be a family member. I think that'd be best. Oh, she's not buying it. She's not buying it. Let's go. Is this how he goes down? Yep. We'll get this whole thing squared away. What about Buddy? Is he in any trouble? Who's Buddy? Oh, Buddy. Oh, why would he be? The the guy, right? I'll see you in about an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Albuquerque. It's not like Albuquerque. Because I know about Albuquerque. I used to be a lawyer, actually. My name's not Gene. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Saul. Or Jimmy. What? Look, is that a charger? But she had a charger next to her. Was that? That was for the internet? But internet cables are different. The Ethernet cable. They're different than the phone one, aren't they? They're like more square. The Ethernet one are more rectangular. <laughs> Very technical. I am. White. You have reached the white residence. Okay, it is the Ethernet. So, they're using the phone on the internet too? Or... How does that work? I don't know, man. Lost track of the time. That's okay. I don't want to slow things down. I think maybe you ought to go without me. Call Saul. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that until proven guilty, every man, woman, and child in this country is innocent. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque. There's color in the commercial. Marion, do you think that's me? Because it's not. There never was a nippy, was there? What did Jeff tell you? Oh, he didn't tell me anything. You figured out on our own. Ask Jeeves told me. I typed in con man. Who's Jeeves? Kirky. And up you popped. Big as day. I am. Is that like Google? What did you get my son into? Nothing that he didn't ask for. I'm still the good friend you Ooh. thought I was. Oh, 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 oh. But he understands me. Remember how she said he's going to kill him with an axe or something? Or he's not, or what? I don't know. Something about an axe killer. Didn't think about an internet cable. What have you got there? <laughs> Put that down. A cross or something? Because you're the devil. What? Put it down. Do not do it, Marion. Final warning. 
What is it? I trusted you. Okay, there's a criminal standing in my kitchen, and his name is Saul Goodman. All right, Miriam, I'm calling the police. I'm calling right now. Oh, that's what that was. Even the credits are not color. Wow, special appearance by Aaron Paul. That was quite an episode. All right, let's do this, man. Um, okay, got a bit intense there at the end, but for the most part, like I said at the start as well, this season has been so like calm and relaxed. It's amazing, really. So the next one is it, the end. Like done, done. Oh, I really want to see it. I really want to see it right now. And if you want to see it right now as well, you can. It's available on my Patreon. Link in the description to my Patreon where you can see the next episode right now. Also, you can see the full length reactions there as well. Thank you so much, every single one of you for supporting me all this time. Now then, like I said, wow, this is amazing. Um, So Marion, you know, Milfs, Milfs, Milfs. The Milf got him. Let's go. Wow. So they focus so much on, uh, uh, you know, elderly in this show, especially with Saul and Jimmy and them. She got him. And not only that, actually, now that I think about it, she so she got the laptop that Jeff bought her with the money that he stole, which he, Jean helped with that. And then Jean also helped her a little bit with understanding how the computer works. Ask Jeeves. So I assume that's like a website or something that he helped her with and he used that to find out about him i love how by the way the saul goodman commercials were in color because saul goodman is so you know vibrant colorful in your face you know what i mean and yes yeah, so in a way indirectly he got himself well we don't know if he well i mean it's the last episode so like he's gonna get got right I hope at least. Uh, then there's the whole Kim situation going on as well. So I think he's gonna. I think he's. I don't know what's gonna happen. Is he gonna get caught or is he gonna commit suicide? Like I said, because it's reminding me of the the papa scene with Nacho. You know, turn yourself in, go to the police, see ya, and then he killed himself. And so, but that's a very different situation, though. I like how. And when I say like, I mean I dislike how jimmy or saul tried to or gene i guess in this case it's a one and the same tried to like flip it on kim don't i mean like we understand what kim has done and she's bad you know we're not going to excuse her actions they're both adults and they understand what they were doing but it is jimmy right at the end of the day who's not jimmy but saul who's like so much who, who's just a monster who's just pure evil like he's exploiting people exploiting even at the start kind of exploiting the elderly and the elderly got him now but you know what i mean like now after especially after becoming Saul, he's just exploitation galore like he's exploiting anything and everything you know what i mean and he like people died uh, you know that he's working for they killed people he's involved with the drug cartel so like it's not even a comparison like kim would turn herself in for what really like like let's be realistic here what exactly would she turn herself in for howard well she didn't kill him neither did she actually cause any harm to him besides you know the, the image which like the wife said we can sue you for like in civil court and sure you can do that but like like uh, focusing on what jimmy said or Jean said what does she turn herself in for you know what i mean uh, maybe scamming a couple of people here and there, you know, beforehand. But like, it's it's amazing, you know. It's uh, it, like he he's. I don't know what exactly the saying is that he uses, but I know what it means. And what it means is that you're telling me this. Like, look at yourself, right? But that actually works best if Kim says it to him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Kim is a small player here. She is a player. I'm not disregarding that. She's a very small player compared to Saul Goodman. Like Saul Goodman. I'm not even talking about Slippin' Jimmy. I'm not even talking about Gene. Saul Goodman. It's not Saul Goodman. Yeah, it's a, it was a weird one. Uh, not a weird one. I mean, it just shows his mental situation, really. His uh, state of mind, where he is. He's clearly not 
over Kim because the way he's reacting to her and, you know, her talking to him and stuff like the reaction between the two guys, you know, Kim and uh, Jimberly, very different. And uh, so, yeah, it's like one is clearly feeling guilty and has so much that she's bearing. Like there's so much on her, like this weight. That's literally drowning her to the point where she's like, she completely moved on like, or just trying to like with her hair and the way she dresses and the way she talks, even the, her demeanor. One thing I, I noticed, or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm reaching here, but with some of the stuff that happened, like she was unable to make decisions. Do you know what I mean? Like, should we use Miracle Whip or Mayo? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Strawberry, vanilla. Oh, they're both good. I don't know. You pick. You know what I mean? It's, and that's Kim. Like, it's not just some person, you know what I mean, who's indecisive. Like, Kim is very, like, straight edge, very, you know, she's, uh, li like Mike said, stirring her stuff, you know, she's very tough. She She's very, very decisive. Quite the opposite, really. She's just settling with whatever, you know what I mean? Like, she's just fine. She's just toned down and she's just like, this will do. Oh, you got this? I didn't ask for this, but it'll do. Do you know what I mean? Easy going, in a way you could say. But, um, and that's fine. There's nothing not wrong with that. People are like that and they're happy with whatever. And that's actually, honestly, if you think about it, kind of the uh, better way to be because you'll be happy with whatever. But also, like, th th this is not how she is. Like, we know her. This is not her. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it was kind of weird, man. It was, it's just little things in these shows, you know, like the show was playing or I don't know, movie or whatever. The TV was on and the dude was watching it. I don't even know what his name was. Did he even say his name? Who cares? The, the yep, yep. Yep, that dude. He was watching and she wasn't. She was just doing her own thing. Like, we saw her before. Like, watching TV was, like, almost sacred. Like, the law, you know what I mean? Like, it was almost like a thing that Jimmy and Kimmy exclusively did together. And I, th I guess in a way, it's still that way. That she sort of connects maybe that with Jimmy. And so she's not doing it with him. Maybe that reminds him of Jimmy. I'm not entirely sure, but it's amazing that the, the, the little things, do you know what I mean? And now that I think about it, actually, the, the, this one's a bit of a reach, but the master, what was it? The master whip or whatever, the MW, McGill Wexler. It's Wexler McGill, but do you know what I mean? That's why I said it's a bit of a reach, but the MW, anyways. And then her in the divorce scene, uh, her waiting for him. So it was her that was waiting for him and he's just stalling. He's just, he's just got a ball and he's throwing it at the wall and just like Francesca's like bro we can hear you you're doing nothing you know what I mean that's what he, he, he was stalling um it's all for you that's all the heartless bastard and he you know then when they're actually signing as well just no emotion nothing on his phone just laughing away like it's such a I don't know it's such a moment like but I suppose the fact that he didn't want her to leave and she left is leaving him a bit bitter and she he kind of wants to hurt her in a way like oh no I'm great and I'm doing fine and do you know what I mean like yeah it's it's weird it's all it's He's, he's, uh, he's not okay, man. He's not, huh? uh, no, he's not. And then her meeting with Jesse, which is great. Kim and Jesse meeting. Wow. And this isn't the first time they've met. They met before with Combo. So she's met Combo too. Lovely. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. And then that line there at the end. Is he good? When I knew him, he was. Wow. Yeah, they, they were good, though. You got to give them that. They were good. They were great. If only they did not turn to the dark side. But hey, such is life. Such is life. And also just clicked, actually. Jimmy and Kim, I mean, uh, Jesse and Kim meeting. That's the two sidekicks, you know, <laughs> the, the secondary characters, uh, which are very important. Without them, uh, you know, they're incomplete. Man, yeah, the sidekicks met. Just like Kim, Jesse should have ran. Just go with her to Florida. <laughs> yeah, but I think, yeah, um, just to sum it up, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's the last episode, so J uh, Saul or Gene or whatever the hell his name is now is gonna go down. He has to. You can't have the finale of a series and not have the... The pro this, is, this is the thing with these shows. This is what happened with Breaking Bad as well. Almost said the protagonist. But like, 
Let's just say the main character, the guy whose name is in the title, that guy. <laughs> you know, something has to happen to him. Like you can't just, they just can't just leave it. Like I guess they can, I, I suppose, but I don't know. I mean, I, I'm expecting him to get caught. Like with the whole Jeff thing, now Marion, uh, Kim is against him as well. Cheryl's obviously going to do something. I think Cheryl might be like good with um, Kim because she actually came through and she's actually feeling guilty and she's showing remorse and she wants to correct um, her wrong wrongs, you know, and, and she's actually willing to accept the responsibility and accept the consequences of it. Like she told him, I can do that and take everything away from me. And she's like, yep, you can do that. You know what I mean, she doesn't like come back with it. Like this is Kim. Like literally, even now with a handwritten confession, I have no doubt if she, Kim, the, the lawyer Kim, the one that was with uh, Jimmy or Saul, if she actually wants to, she will get out of this. Like, do you know what I mean? But she's not gonna, and she showed that she's not gonna. And I think that will win a bit of sympathy from Cheryl. And I think she will target Jimmy. And, and I mean, Jimmy has done so much worse, you know, that um, I think he deserves it too. Um, I think Kim deserves a little bit of a punishment, but after seeing her the way she is and going through everything that she went through, I think she learned her lesson. And uh, I mean, she's not her. Like, she's literally not her. Like, I think that's one of the biggest punishments you can get, you know what I mean? And, and her living with that guilt all this time as well. So something has to happen with uh, Jimmy uh, or Gene and, um, uh, Mar uh, you know, Jeff, Marion, whatever. They're going to take him down. It's going to be Kim. It's going to be a joint effort between Kim, Jeff, Marion and, you know, all of them. It's, it's going to be quite a showdown. I cannot wait to see the next one. And if you can't either, you can see it on my Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for supporting me all this time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice...